Distinguished guests, dear friends, ladies and gentlemen, good day. In 1992, the World Federation for Mental Health designated October 10th of each year as World Mental Health Day. Later, the World Health Organization also recognized this day as an official international day with the aim of raising public awareness and attention towards mental health, as well as encouraging individuals and groups to take action in support of mental health initiatives. Nowadays, rapid environmental changes, technological advancements, and the impact of the global pandemic have accelerated changes and uncertainties in life, on top of differences on materials, relationships, between people and the dynamics of society have also impacted mental and physical health. This has led to a growing emphasis on mental and physical well-being, prompting the widespread of mental health education on individual, group, and international levels. According to the World Health Organization, the definition of mental health is not merely the absence of abnormal behavior or mental illness. It also refers to a person in the state of well-being of harmony and peace physically, mentally, and socially. The key aspects of mental health include balance in the individual's body, mind, and spirit, balance between oneself and others, balance between the internal and external, balance between thinking and action, and balance between giving and receiving, among others. The human being can be analogized as a small universe, where body and mind are interdependent, influencing each other in a cause and effect relationship, together forming a stable small universe. Physical ailments inevitably affect the mind, while the fluctuations of the mind also influence the well being of the body. In response to the modern society's urgent need for wisdom on health, wellness, and life balance, I founded Taijiman Qigong Academy in 1966 with the aim of promoting Taijiman culture and enhancing the physical, mental, and spiritual well being of people. For 58 years, I have imparted to my deeds of wisdom and philosophy guiding them in self-cultivation and character development, helping others and contributing to society. I have also led my dizi to travel more than a hundred countries, promoting a culture of peace with love and conscience. Through cultural-driven education, we nurture the understanding of holistic well-being rooted in conscience, fostering global awareness and promoting comprehensive health for all. Every individual, shaped by their unique upbringing and living environment, develops their own distinct culture. Therefore, to build a culture of conscience in the world, we have to start from the self, doing good deeds, introspection, and cultivating inner peace. We will then be able to infuse positive and kind thoughts into ourselves others, and the world, bringing forth peaceful and harmonious energy. In addition, we should embrace and appreciate different cultures, love oneself as well as others, love one's own country, and also love the countries of others. When everyone is willing to care for both themselves and others, and to embrace diverse cultures with conscience, we will be able to create a harmonious and peaceful world where it brings warmth, joy, and a sense of stability to people's bodies, minds, and spirits. When everyone awakens their conscience and acts upon it, and always think positively with a joyful mind, the realization of mental well-being can be truly promoted. Each of us is born into the world with a pure and kind heart. When we are not confined by external disturbances and return to the purity of our original heart, like finding a place of peace in a chaotic world, an abode of conscience in turbulent waters, 
will we be able to achieve true physical, mental, and spiritual well-being? My best wishes to you, peace of mind and body, safety and good health. Thank you all.